second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. We are seeing an outstanding game from James Harden. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. This is his challenge, to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. They've got D'Angelo Russell, LeBron James out there with Torian Prince, then it's Anthony Davis, and it's Reeves in at the two-guard spot. So that's who Darvin Ham starts the second half with. Now, here is James. Second chance effort. That shot makes him 7 for 14. He's been good tonight. He's one of those guys who is extra difficult to block out. When LeBron really wants a rebound, it's hard to beat him to the ball. Here's Harden. And it's slammed in by Zubats. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Now here's Davis. Trailing by eight. That one drops for him. Russell's got ten points. The aggressive move by Russell. He's got the deep bag of tricks. So tough to stop. Tucker with a screen on Russell. Harden misses. The Lakers have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. You know, thinking about the Clippers' history, those Lob City days really stand out, Smitty. Yes, B.A., one of the most fun eras in recent NBA history. Blake and DeAndre throwing down alley oops from CP3. That team had their own style, attitude. I love watching that Lob City group play. Two on the clock. James can't get it to go. The Clippers shooting it at 52%. Russell against Harden. On the take. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Harden's got five points in the quarter. <laughs> it is so difficult to guard Harden on the drive. Tremendous finishing at the hoop, but he's also elite at drawing fouls. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Reeves. The Clippers getting their last shot to go. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Harden against Russell. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And we have to take another look at that block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. The Clippers making a switch here. Highlands checked in. And here are the Clippers now. Six-point lead. Leonard shots good. Wow, the vision of P.J. Tucker made that play possible. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Pass to James. Back to Russell. Here's Reeves. Now here's Davis. He's guarded by Zubats. Four on the clock. Davis can't hit. Great contest of the shot. Kind of forced him to fade back more than he'd like. George with it. Out left to the wing. Leonard up top from the arc. Hits a three-pointer. Leonard's got 10 points in the game. Looking at his percentages over the years, Kawhi is an elite three-point shooter. I think Leonard deserves more credit for that. Now here's Russell. Leonard pulls down the board. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. To the paint. Uses the glass on the layup. Leonard's got seven now in this quarter. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. To stop the run. And Davis slams it home. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. 
Here's Highland to the wing, right side. Leonard up top, checked by James. Leonard against James. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. You know, this Lakers team is running with one of the most veteran squads in the league, Smitty. Tons of experience and wisdom on their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. In terms of offense, the Clippers have been up and down in recent years. When they're healthy, they're dangerous. When they're not, it's a struggle. Hachimura has checked in for the Lakers. Vincent comes in for Russell. Good on the second one. And Smitty with the Clippers, it shows how important depth is to an NBA offense. B.A., you know this. It's great to have a powerful first unit. But if your second unit can't carry its weight, it's a fragile situation. Powell outside. Pass to Leonard. Here's Highland. Back to Leonard. Over James. Leonard can't get it to go. The Lakers have gone four of eight in the third. James with the ball. 17 points in the game. On the wing, Davis. Pass to Vincent. He shoots it. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. A foul won't scare King James off. He gets assertive and takes the shot. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Clippers. They've been lights out from three-point land in this one. The defense hasn't been effective at stopping them, so they have just stuck with the game plan. And they've also kept the game simple for themselves, getting it into the paint and getting high-percentage looks. No one can make headlines like LeBron. There was a ton of buzz when he talked about teaming up with his son in the NBA someday. The Clippers have gone six for nine in the half. Pass to Plumley. Here's Highland. Powell with it. Hachimura covering. And he gets it to go. And the Clippers lead by 12. You know, whether it happens or not, I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together, Smitty. B.A., I think it would be one of the coolest things to take place in the league. We've seen it in other sports, but for it to happen in the NBA, it would be awesome. Pass to Plumlee. Hachimura against Leonard. Now Powell. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Powell's got six. Great vision on that pass. Kawhi moving it to the open teammate. Here's James. A shot from the high post. Again, the Lakers. Though LeBron loves to keep his teammates involved, when he's spilling it like tonight, he'll call his own number. Leonard against Hachimura. Leonard outside. Here's Highland. Offline with a three. Ooh, that's a tough break. After poor communication defensively, it leaves him all by himself. Pass to Vincent. Hachimura with the ball. Davis down low. He's got 15. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. The paint is truly AD's domain. He can just power through any opposition. Here's Vincent. Ooh, anticipated the pass. It's a turnover. Here's Highland. Leonard on the wing. From downtown, rebounded by LeBron. James has got six rebounds in the game. Pass to Davis. The floater. The Clippers grab the miss. 
Here's Highland. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by LeBron. James has got rebound number seven tonight. Here's Reeves. Back to James. And it's James with the jam. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Here's Highland. Pass to Leonard. Shot clock at five. Oh, they need this. And he lays it in. Leonard's got 15 points. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. James, outside. Here's Reeves. Lots of room. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. Reddish is checked in for Reeves. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Russell Westbrook, he's checked in for Highland. Westbrook outside. Okay, Licker fan. You have Russell Westbrook's ranks on the all-time list are incredible. He's in the top 100 for points, rebounds, assists, and steals. And don't forget, he's a triple-double king. And that one falls for Westbrook. And with Westbrook, is there anyone you could see breaking his triple-double record? B.A., I think Luka Doncic has a chance. He's already in the top 10 on that list and has a long career ahead of him. I remember thinking no one would break Oscar's record, but Russell did it. And as Westbrook gets older, he's indicated that he's not looking to change how he plays, Grant. And that can be a double-edged sword, B.A. You love his aggression and confidence. But you wonder how his game will hold up as his athleticism goes. Now, here is James. 25 points in the game. Got it. A dominant presence, AD. So smooth in pick and roll situations. Has the agility and the great hands on the catch. Here's Mann. Six point lead. Pass to Westbrook. Takes the three. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Inside, here's Hachimura. The shot's good on the assist by James. And now just a four-point Clipper lead. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. Now Westbrook. He's got seven. Leonard up top. One twenty-one left in the third. Hachimura with the defensive effort. James outside. Pass to Vincent. The three. Powell pulls it in. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Westbrook right side. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. He is absolutely not afraid of anybody. Russ takes on anyone, anywhere, and plays with such tenacity. Woods checked in for the Lakers. D'Angelo Russell comes in for LeBron. Tucker's checked in for the Clippers. George comes in for man. Over the years, no team in the NBA has had more star power than the Lakers. They always have at least one future Hall of Famer on the roster. Here's Davis. And again, it's the Lakers. That's a good shot for AD. He can rise above anyone from there. Pass to Plumlee. 26 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Powell outside. Here's George. And the Clippers miss again. Russell against Powell. 
Now here's Davis. And no good. And we've watched three so far in this one. Clippers ahead. They lead by five. And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we get ready for the fourth. On the floor for the Clippers, we've got Paul George, Russell Westbrook out there with James Harden. Then there's P.J. Tucker, and it's Zubats in at the center position. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. On the wing, Harden. And he lobs it up! Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Reddish against George. Reddish misses. The Clippers in the lead. Westbrook, the pass to Harden. Clock at four. Rebound by the Lakers. Woods got seven rebounds in the game. Well, the Lakers shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Russell, the pass to Davis. Down low. Pass to Russell. Nice dish, and the layup goes down. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, you go to your most trusted guys. And it was great execution. Clutch effort all the way around. Now here's Westbrook. Harden with a screen on Russell. Westbrook, the pass to Harden. And that one comes off the assist by Westbrook. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. I love it. His love for the game couldn't be more obvious. It helps him make a positive impact out on the court. And it also keeps the bench fired up. Here's Reeves. Tied Reddish. No good with the triple. Reddish has gone two of five from the field here. And here's Harden. George outside. No good on the triple. The Lakers have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Pass to Wood. Davis with it. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. The shot by Russell. No good. The Clippers shooting at about 51% for the game so far on this one. George passes to Harden. Tucker with the ball. Checked by Davis. George for three. The shot misses. And it's the Lakers the other way. Outside Russell. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Reddish finds Davis. Over Tucker. The Lakers with another miss. Russell against Harden. Now here's George. Back to Harden. From deep. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Harden's got 38 points. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. Now here's Davis. 
Nets win the cold streak. Deflected. And so it looks like the Lakers will retain possession here. Prince is checked in for the Lakers. Achimura comes in for Reddish. Kawhi Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Highland comes in for Westbrook. Five to shoot. Russell from outside. Pure from three-point range. Russell's got five points now this quarter. A volume three-point shooter. The coaching staff encourages Russell to fire away. Shoots from 12. And there's another one for the Clippers. And coming down the stretch, both teams still playing fantastic offense. Yes. And if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. Here's Reeves. Shoots over Zubac. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. The 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. And he makes a first. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers. What made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA players are used to being in four cities in a week. So it really was a different kind of challenge for them. Now here's Harden. Pass to Highland. Leonard outside. Tucker with a screen on Achimura. Leonard can't get it to go. The Lakers have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Here's Reeves. Outside Russell. And here's Davis. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to be on even to Zubac. It's not just the size of AD. It's the quickness. Allows him to beat defenders in traffic, forcing fouls. Taking two shots. That free throw, good from Davis. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. James is checked in for Achimura. So he gets them both. You know, Anthony Davis has had his share of injury struggles, having to miss valuable games at times. Harden against Russell. Tucker with a screen on Russell. Harden from outside. Rebound by the Lakers. Here's Reeves. Throws it up high. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Highland. Harden with it. Zubats with a screen on Russell. Nails it from beyond the arc. Harden's got 41. You know the thing with AD, he's always bounced back from his injuries. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. And there's contact and a whistle. So he's got two shots coming up. The 2021-22 season felt like a lost one for the Clippers. Kawhi and Paul George both hurt. So true. I mean, but B.A., those two together, healthy, are scary. A finals-level duo. It kind of shows you how you can plan, build an awesome roster, but injuries can derail it all. Both free throws good from James. Because he knows he makes a living at the line, he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it. To the inside, Zubats. And it's slammed in by Zubats. Yeah, the focus of the defense. I mean, James Harden was able to use that attention and turn it into a hoop for someone else. That one's good from James on the assist by Russell. Russell's got seven assists in the game. The Clippers have got five out of ten shots to drop here in the final quarter. Russell against Harden. Tucker with a screen. Fires high post. Yes! He nails it! Leonard's got 14 points now in the second half. Now Russell. Pass to James. Davis with a screen on Leonard. Here's James. Here's Davis. 
The shot won't fall. The Clippers go the other way with it. 13 points was their biggest lead of the game. Here's Highland. Back to Leonard. Five on the clock. Shoots. The shot, no good. Davis with the defensive effort. The Lakers trail. Pass to Russell. Here's James. Davis with a screen on Leonard. James passes to Davis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. With his diverse skill set and size, Davis is a matchup nightmare for anyone in the league. Anthony Davis taking two shots. That free throw, good from Davis. George, he's checked in for the Clippers. Westbrook comes in for Harden. Both free throws good from Davis. The Clippers have gotten 6 of 12 shots to go here in this fourth quarter. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. During that last break, Coach Tyron Lue had some advice for the team. He complimented the three-point shooting. He said, quote, it's one thing to get the look. It's another to bury it. I believe in you guys. I think you've got this game on lock. Let's go out there and let's take this, guys. All right, appreciate it, Allie. Now here's Tucker. Here's Leonard. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Leonard's got six points in the quarter. Kawhi Leonard will never shy away from carrying the offensive load. He can step up and do that for his team. James up top. He's guarded by Zubox. And that one's good. James. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Westbrook. Pass to Leonard. Just five on the clock. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Tucker, no good. Well, the Lakers shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. Oh, deflected. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Leonard. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Westbrook outside. Got a piece of it. And here's Zubats. Now here's Leonard. On target from about 13 feet. Leonard's got 18 points now here in the second half. Kawhi is a threat from anywhere. To him, the mid-range is a good scoring option. Here's James. Good work defensively by Leonard. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. To the middle. Here's Tucker. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. And now it's an eight-point Clipper lead. Determined to score. P.J. won't be distracted by contact. Davis with a screen on Westbrook. Pass to James. Over Leonard. And again, no good by the Lakers. Well, the Clippers shooting a terrific 56% so far in the fourth quarter. We've got 155 left in the fourth. The crazy reach of AD coming into play. He uses it so well to reject shots. Here's Prince. Here's the three. Drops in the three. The evolution of Prince when they needed a hoop in a close game. He's one of the guys that they can count on. Westbrook against Russell. Westbrook, the pass to Zubat. 
Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. How about the unselfishness of this team? <laughs> yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Now, here is James. To the paint. Here's Davis. And he banks in the layup. And now just a three-point clipper lead. This just in. AD is not going to buckle up and fold. He's unafraid of the moment. Westbrook, the pass to Zubat. Now here's Tucker. Westbrook with it. And again, no good by the Clippers. We've seen him make that shot, but not all that often. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. Now, here is James. Over Leonard. And he sinks it. And that one brings him within one. There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. James against Leonard. Westbrook outside. Pass to Zubac. And it's good. And they do have a foul to give if needed. The Lakers call timeout. They're trailing by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Davis. Here's Reeves. Oh, bangs home the three. Oh, a tremendous three. We're tied. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. Leonard outside. The three, Westbrook. Oh my! What a shot! The Lakers call timeout. All right, guys, what do you think? <laughs> An insane scenario. Not enough time for a catch and shoot three, so it has to be an alley oop that draws the and one foul. So a close game sees the Clippers taking this one. With the late victory, they upset plenty of these hometown fans. They really should take this win to heart. When the pressure was on, they stepped up and worked twice as hard to overcome it. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. James, congratulations on a big win. But I ask you this, where does this team need to continue to grow? Uh, you know, our backbone, what we're going to rely on is our defense, and uh, it's on us now defensively to be able to lock up, be able to communicate, and be able to sustain it for full quarters. And once we get that at a high level and consistently, uh, there's going to be a problem. Thanks, James. Back to you. All right, Allie, thank you. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports coverage of the NBA. As New Balance presents our player of the game, James Harden.